Water is extremely important in all aspects of life. We need to drink water to live. We use water to grow food and make products that we use every day, like toothpaste and soap. Humans are made of about 60% water. For most of us, access to water will never be a problem, but there are lots of people in the world who don't have enough clean water to live and need more. It is important for us to understand how water behaves, so then we can help people who need more. The way water behaves when we drop it onto the surface of objects is not always as we expect. Sometimes it will spread and stick, like paint, but other times it will just sit on an object, like a droplet. The question we want to answer is why does water act differently on different objects? We can answer this question in very simple terms. Some objects like water, while others don't. When a water droplet lands on an object which does like water, the object will pull the droplet towards the surface. This is called attraction. The attraction from the object makes the water spread out so the water is touching as much of the surface as possible. However, some objects don't like water, and so when a droplet falls on them, they try to push the water away. This is called a repulsive force. The repulsive forces push the water away so that the water is touching the surface as little as possible. This is why we see small water beads on objects that don't like water. Which objects let water spread and which objects make water bead? Let's find out. In this section, we have learnt that some objects attract water, while others repel water. Water spreads out on objects that attract water, but stays as droplets on objects that repel water.